Welcome, my friends. I'm here with my buddy, Daryl, and we are both very passionate about scheduling. And therefore, the topic of scheduling tools comes up quite frequently. Today, we are going to present some data to you that shows the leader in the marketplace as far as scheduling is concerned. We are going to take a look at who is the big kahuna and who follows. So I'm just going to put a bunch of data on the screen and bit by bit, we are going to unravel who is the leader and who is at the bottom of the stack. So let's go to our whiteboard. And here are the results. So Daryl and I have used a smattering of tools throughout our careers but nothing prepared us for this. <laughs> uh, nothing prepared us for the data that we're showing you, which was gleaned from data nights. So as you can see here, at the top of the stack, we have Jira. Jira comes in at 36.57% of the market share, and that is followed by Microsoft Project at 19 0.78%. That is followed by ClickUp at 8.45%, followed by Write at 7.92% of the market share, Asana, followed by Smartsheet, followed by Monday.com and Primavera P6, followed by Zoho Projects and then Trillo. So my question is, Daryl, what are your thoughts right off the bat about this data? Just looking at the data, um, I'm disappointed on how Microsoft Project is considered in the low percentage of the rating category. And Jira is one of the, the number one. Right. I mean, it, I, I mean, I can't say I'm absolutely shocked but it is surprising nonetheless especially since microsoft was a big kahuna just coming into the world of project management software so let's put some further dialogue in this box for people to assess what we have included in here it says this table shows that jira it's the clear leader in the market with a market share of over 36%. It is followed by Microsoft Project. Thank goodness, Microsoft Project. I, th I don't think this got the memo. <laughs> it is followed by Microsoft Project. And then click up and write. So you get all of this uh, information from the data that was gleaned. It says uh, Smartsheet, Monday.com, Primavera P6, Zoho, Projects, and Trillo all have smaller market shares, but are still popular choices for project management and scheduling. Now, let's, let's honestly critique, when you're talking about all-in-one project management, based on what I know, all-in-one project management, I, I think we could argue that all of these can be used for all-in-one project management in their own respects. We could argue that. But I guess when it comes to Jira, I think the advantage that Jira has over the others is it has a free version, Daryl. And that is quite important, you know. When people are looking to use a tool, if you want a tool to go viral, there should be a free version, perpetually free version. I have Jira perpetually free on my phone. I cannot say the same for Microsoft Project. There is no free Microsoft Project. Now, people will say, well, Teams has Planner. What are your thoughts on that, Dal? I honestly think with not having Microsoft Project um, just as free as how Jira is, it's, it keeps that percentage low at that 19%. And it steers away um, new project managers of using Microsoft Project. I think so, right? Because 
a lot of the the new project managers they want to experiment uh they want to experiment with tools and they there's there's not as much commitment into investing in a tool paying hundreds of dollars you know, if you think about it the cost of Microsoft Project is quite cost prohibitive. Take a look at the community, Daryl. You know how everyone is when it comes to, let's just talk about the PMP exam, right? A lot of folks are looking for free stuff because a lot of project managers, they just think in a more, how can I conserve my budget? And if they're thinking like that, they're not going to spend hundreds of dollars. Or nowadays, Daryl, aren't we trapped in a subscription it becomes the never-ending do loop of subscription, right? Prescription, subscription, and then you just go into that do loop and you can't come out of it if you are committed to using Microsoft Project. That could be dissuading others. So I think Jira is on top there because of its free accessibility. Like I said, I have it on my phone. It's been there for years. I've never had to pay a dime. To Atlassian. And you take a look at the others. I'm not sure about the free versions of everything else, but I know I've done a free version of ClickUp, Rike, and Asana. I don't know if they're lifetime. Do you know anything about that, Dal? I don't think ClickUp or even Rike is on a lifetime uh, deal. I know ClickUp, I used it. Um, a couple of times in previous projects and it's similar to smart sheets phil mm -hmm. with right yeah. you're a lot more um massaging your schedule to to understand the delays and where where it actually causes that delay so you're able mm -hmm. to manipulate the uh the gantt chart bar or the bar the, the chart itself in right i see Gotcha. Yeah. So I, I have played with Reich in the past. ClickUp, it does say, has uh, has a free version of it. And there are many other other uh, versions of these tools. But let's take a look at Smartsheet at 5%. It's carved out a nice little market share for itself. You know, I'm surprised that Reich and Asana are higher than Smartsheet, but I can guess why. What do you think ClickUp, Reich, and Asana have usurped Smartsheet? I think Smartsheet is not as an intuitive for those who prefer more visual project management tool. But uh -huh. you can get that from Reich and also Jira in, a, in an agile mindset. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Monday.com, I haven't played with it a whole lot. I've played with it a little bit. I would have thought Monday.com would be around the same level as Reich and Asana. I mean, they do a very aggressive marketing campaign perpetually on YouTube, but um, they're there at 3%. Now, let's talk about Primavera. What are your feelings and thoughts about Primavera being a minuscule? I mean, Microsoft Project is eight times bigger, nine times bigger than you know the Primavera market share. What, what do you have to say about that, Daryl? With using Primavera P6 or or even seeing that low per, low percentage, it's expected, Phil. With with that software, um, with my with my opinion, P6 is one of those tools where you would have to sit down and fully give yourself a day or two to understand the software. Um, it's not user friendly, and it's not suitable for small projects. It's more complex, um, set up for high price projects like construction. Um, and I know in construction projects, they use more of tax planning using P6 um, in that in that capacity. Got you, got you. So for those who don't know, P6 is more of a commercial product. It's actually hard for you to be able to download a version to use on your machine without knowing how to maneuver that that um, that trajectory. Daryl, can people get a free or you know limited use version of P6? How would they navigate that? There is a, I guess, a loophole to download 
previous versions of P6, and you can find it on YouTube. Um, Plan Academy has a YouTube video of how to download P6 for free to use it as um, a practice tool or an eval tool um, mm. before you consider buying the, the software. Gotcha, gotcha. And, you know, like you said, uh, Primavera could be quite complex. It's powerful, but it is complex. It has a lot of firepower. And honestly, that could be seen as a barrier to those who are not very experienced in project management to begin with. And it's focused on large, complex projects. I only had to use that once in my career. That was once out of many companies on Motorola. So it may not be the best choice for smaller projects, smaller companies that don't have that infrastructure or companies that want a more agile approach. These days, a lot of companies are looking for a more agile approach, as you said. And then when Absolutely. it comes to the competition, I mean, the competition just slays it because... Uh, do you know what the cost is to, you know, for Primavera, Daryl, for it's license more today? The, um, above the $1,000 range, depending on the, how many licenses you're going you're gonna to use and so forth. Mm. Wow. So that definitely is cost prohibitive right there. Yes, absolutely. Um, the breakdown of the licenses, according to... What we can see on the web, it, it's saying that one license, a perpetual license, could be up to $3,500. And that means you can use it for as long as you want, but you'll need to purchase a separate maintenance subscription in order to receive updates and support. And the cost of maintenance, depending on the number of licenses, as you said, um, for example, a maintenance subscription of 10 licenses costs $2,800 per year. So it's very cost prohibitive for small firms, very expensive. It's a powerful tool, right? And when you Absolutely. add up the cost, yeah, it's leaking into the, the four grand range. I mean, who has got that money to burn in a small company? Probably not. <laughs> so a lot of, a lot mm -hmm. of CIOs are just going to say, no, are you crazy? How do you defend that? We're not doing it. But for the very large projects, like, you know, defense projects, construction, very heavy, uh, where you've got an army of people working on it, it's understandable. It's understandable. Yeah. And then um, what else, Daryl? We've got Trillo at 1.5%. What are your thoughts about that? Because when you talk about Agile, Vera and Trillo are from the same company. So yeah. why is Trillo so low when it's free? What That's a think? good point, though. Good point. Um, using tre uh, Trillo, it's very user-friendly. Absolutely, hands down, 100% user-friendly. Um, it's also, you can download on your phone and use it on your phone, just like, like Jira. Um, and it's great for visual thinkers and it's also for smaller teams however mm. it's can be too basic for, for complex projects or schedules and then with adding integrations and plugins that's also the other hurdle with using trello mm. interesting perspectives yeah it's popular like i, I taught my director of photography Trello and the moment I taught him Trello he became a raving fan he's been using that to manage his operations in his photography video uh, business for many years but when you think about Trello uh, one thing comes to mind Kanban right the automation of it is not as sophisticated as Jira the manipulation of it is not as sophisticated as Jira uh, it's easy to use but it could be very hard to scale it up for complex projects. And as far as integrations, it may not be as integrable uh, compared to other tools, you know, that have their workflow cut out in a different way. But I think the major thing is what you said, Daryl, it's, it's simplicity could also be it's uh it's Achilles heel. So 
interesting Absolutely perspectives. Fair. Yeah, well, there you have it. It, it was interesting yeah. to look at this data with you, Daryl. Mm -hmm. And for those people who want more information about how to maneuver these tools, I want you to be aware that my buddy Daryl here is a Microsoft project expert. This is what he does for a living. He works on schedules and projects and budgets, things like earn value in various domains. He's also versed in the world of Agile too. Now, when it comes to P6, if you want some context on that, he can also offer you some coaching and advice and mentoring. So to subscribe to Daryl's channel, you need to find the at. Daryl, tell me the at sign for you. Let's start off with the channel name. Influence IPM is the YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube and you type in Influence IPM, you'll be able to find Daryl's channel. You'll also be able to see some videos where Daryl gives you some high-level information about Microsoft Project in particular. And I'm just gonna give you the at, it's at Influence IPM LLC. So that's the at sign. So if you're really keen on getting some training and coaching in Microsoft Project or Primavera, just go on down to that, youtube.com forward slash at Influence IPM LLC. All right, Daryl, any final comments on the data that we've looked at? Pretty much covered it all, Phil. Thank you again for your, your time. And it's always great to uh, have these sessions. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, my friends, with that said, if you have any questions about what we've looked at or any concerns, please do share them. You take care. Bye for now.